Oh, that we thank you. We appreciate your name. We say may your name be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. That we pray you move with us again in this serious teaching in Jesus' name. Amen. You can have your seat. You are welcome to Time to Eat Conference Room of Immortality this week. And I pray the grace of the Lord will not depart from your life for paying the price of time to be with us here now in the mighty name of Jesus. For those that have been joining with us in the spirit from the beginning of this teaching, you will discover on how we have been opening the eyes of the understanding of many to the reality of the existence of our spirit, the reality of the salvation of our soul, and the reality of the restoration of our body. And we've talked about different dimensions of spiritual reality in series 1, series 2, series 4, series 3, series 4, series 5. And now we are in series 6 of the mark of spiritual existence. Right. And I wanted to know something because some questions may begin to drop in your heart. That why do we need growth in the kingdom? Because the moment you are spiritually alive, the next agenda that the kingdom of God begins to expect from you is that you are growing spiritually. So you may begin to ask, why do I need growth? Now let me say this to you categorically. That everything that God created, or let me say you, that God created, you are created to be very, very good. You are created to be correct. But you are not complete. At the same time, you are not perfect. I repeat. Everything that God creates, that has a measure of life in it. They are good. They are correct. But they are not complete. And they are not perfect. <laughs> I know some may begin to wonder what is, Banjo, what is Pastor Banjo trying to say. Just pay attention. So we simply mean, the moment you are born on it, or you are born again, you are very good. Because when God created Adam in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, the Bible says, and God looked at Adam and said, he is very, very good. We simply mean, Adam was created good. Adam was created to be correct. Because before God can say something is good, it means that same thing is correct. But permit me to tell you this, that Adam was not perfect. And Adam was not complete. Every man on earth is created to be good, is created to be correct, but is not created to be perfect, and is not created to be complete. That is the reason why God said to Adam that it is not good for a man to be alone. It is simply because man is good, man is correct, but man is not complete. Ha! Because the moment you come to the understanding that you are complete, it means you don't need the activities of man in your life. You don't need the activities of God again in your life. You don't need helpers of destiny again in your life. Because there are four kinds of helpers that God has given to man to make us complete. The first helper is the one that God gave to Adam, which is your wife. That is, every man in life needs an helpmate. The reason why you need an helpmate is simply because you are not complete. Every born again Christian needs the Holy Spirit. The reason why you need the Holy Spirit as another spiritual helper is that you are not complete. The third helper that you need is the helper of destiny. The reason why you need the helper of destiny in this life is simply because you are not complete. Can I tell you the first part that you need? <laughs> the fourth part that you need is the devil. <laughs> because you need devil to enter into the dimension of progress in life simply because you are not complete. If you want to know the advantage of the help of a Satan to help you to enter into the economy of greatness in life, ask Joseph. <laughs> he was pushed to his destiny alignment and destiny assignment by the enemy. So, you need four helper in life. One, your wife, right? Two, the Holy Spirit. Three, the helper of destiny. Four, Satan is the fourth helper you need to succeed in life. I believe somebody is getting the dimension of which I'm talking about now. 
So you must be able to know that everybody need help, helper in life. Everybody need a help, need helper of life. Everybody needed helper for life. The helper of life is the Holy Spirit. Right? The helper of destiny is man. The helper in life is your wife. And the helper for life is Satan. I repeat. The helper of life is Holy Spirit. The helper of destiny is man. The helper in life is your wife or your husband. While the helper, the helper for life is Satan. So these are the four kind of helper you need. And the reason why you need these four kind of helper is simply because you are not complete. In the next series, we are going to be talking about the reason why you need, why you need grace. You will see clearly that the reason why you need grace is because you are not perfect. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. The reason why you need growth is because you are not perfect. But the reason why you need need grace is because you are not complete. The reason why you need growth is because you are not perfect. And the reason why you need grace is simply because you are not perfect. You are not complete. So every believer, the mark I must begin to see in your life to know that you are existing spiritually is one. I must see the mark of spiritual growth. I must also see the mark of spiritual grace. I repeat. The two certain mark that must begin to find expression in your life as a pure evidence that you are alive and healthy in the spirit is that one, there must be a mark of spiritual growth and there must also be a mark of spiritual grace. And the reason why people, the kingdom of God is expecting growth from you is simply because the new life you receive is a life that is good, is a life that is comp- correct, but it's a life that needs to grow so that the potential of that life will begin to find expression in your life. Can I say this to you? Everything that God releases into your life is released with full capacity. But because of the capacity of your motor body, it enters into you like a seed. It enters into you like a newborn baby. That must begin to grow and it is the growth that will begin to make the potential that is embedded in that grief, in that gift, in that grace that has entered into you to begin to find expression in life. Can you see the reason why you need a grace now? You need grace simply because you are not complete. So when you see a man that doesn't know the efficacy of grace in life, they are men that have not come to the understanding of the reality of the fact that they are not complete in this life. I said it in one of my series teaching that every race can be, can be personal, but every work is not personal. It's a joint work on this earth. The assignment of God that God has given to you is not the assignment that you can fulfill by yourself. If you carry an assignment and you are thinking that it's an assignment you can fulfill by yourself, it's a sign that that assignment is not from God. Because your vision is always bigger than you. Oh, somebody's not jotting that statement down. Your vision is always bigger than you. So that is why the moment God begins to give you a certain dimension of an eternal assignment, the first thing that will come to your understanding is that I can't do this alone. The reason why you can't do it alone is not because you are not correct it's not because you are not good but simply because you are not complete so we needed men around us to be complete we needed holy spirit to be complete you needed the wife to be complete and you also needed satan to be complete so if you understand the 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 spiritual technology of the system that god has placed put in place to govern the existence of the reality of a believer in the body of christ you will know that Satan is working together for your own good. Ha! <laughs> so I'm using this opportunity to tell you that that challenges that devil has put in your way is one of the tools that God has designed to bring you into dimension of supernatural that the kingdom of darkness will regret for putting you in that space in life. I got born again in 2011. People, somebody has preached salvation to me for long, but I never see any reason to give my life to Jesus. 
But when a certain problem hit me, it hit me in 2011, I ran to church. And I begin to look for Jesus Christ and I surrender my life to him. Then the question is, devil is regretting today for bringing that problem to come across my way in 2011. <laughs> I mean, the kingdom of darkness are regretting today for bringing that same problem to come my way in 2011. Because I wish the problem didn't come my way in 2011. It is possible for me to still be outside of Christ in this dispensation. So I'm using this opportunity to tell you that the kingdom of darkness, the moment you are born again, devil become your helper. It's one of the tools that God has assigned to bring you into the economy of your greatness in this life. So you can see the reason why you need grace. You can see the reason why you need growth. You need grace simply because you are not complete. And you need growth simply because you are not perfect. And I pray God will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so very much.